How do educators and scientists like yourself try to combat what really is a fringe minority who refuses to accept fact and science? For instance, the British Environment Minister himself has said that a temperature rise of one or two degrees would only be modest. Yeah, so when politicians start analyzing the science, uh, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say at that point. Are we going to wait until the coastlines get redrawn as the glaciers melt off of Antarctica and Greenland? Uh, do you know if we lose the glacier ice that the sea level will rise, uh, what is it, about 80 meters? And this, this changes the coastlines of the world. And the great cities of the world are on shorelines for an important reason. These were where, where shipping and trade had occurred. And so do you want to wait until that happens to say, oh, oops, oh, we had uh, uh, our policy didn't reflect the reality? So what we do in Cosmos is just highlight for you how and why science works and why it empowers you to make informed decisions about the world. As I said, so that you can become a better shepherd of this planet. We have huge issues facing us in energy and transportation and health and security. So Co Cosmos, the TV series, is not just about, oh, look at these pretty pictures of the universe, although we got plenty of those, uh, or, 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 or pretty renderings of movement through the cosmos. Yes, we've got that. But at the end of every episode and at the end of the series, we, our goal is for you to say to yourself, wow, science has completely shaped the world in which we live. Science and, the, and, its, and, its, and its first cousin technology have completely shaped the world we live. And this is how science works. And this is why I understand what a truth is. And here's how I can detect when people's philosophies are interfering with the dissemination of those ideas and that knowledge. Neil deGrasse Tyson, thank you very much indeed. Uh, happy to be on with you. Thank you for having me.